Welcome to my engineering drawing playlist. Today I will be explaining problem from the projections of lines. And this is actually the best problem for the practice. So let's see first of all the description of the given problem. Line AB is 75 mm long. That means the true length is given to you. Incline at an angle of 20 degree and 30 degree to HP and VP. That means horizontal plane and vertical plane respectively. And A is 11 mm above HP and 9 mm in front of VP. That means it is the description of the point A with respect to HP and VP. Draw the projections of the line AB. Assume line is in first quadrant. So first of all write down the given data in the symbolic notation. Here it is given to you. Line AB is 75 mm long. That means true length. So TL is equal to 75 mm. Incline at an angle of 20 degree and 30 degree to HP and VP. As we have discussed, the true length inclination with HP that is indicated by theta and true inclination with VP is indicated by phi. So it is theta and phi. Next, this is the description of the point A that we will discuss later on. Next, true projections of the line AB. That means this is your answer box. Where you have to find the PL and EL, that means AB and A dash B dash. So, this is actually the projections of the line. Here I am going to find alpha and beta also in this problem. This is actually for your more information. Actually, this is not required for this problem. But if it is asked in the examination, then you can find alpha and beta also with the reference of this problem. This is really a very important thing to solve the problems from the projection of line. So first of all, I am going to locate the projection of the point A that is given to you 11 mm above HP and 9 mm in front of BP. So first of all, draw two reference line. This is X, Y, you know that. Now here it is given to you. And A is 11 mm above HP. So 11 mm above HP and 9 mm in front of VP. So I can say this is the location of the point A, 9 mm in front of VP and 11 mm above HP. Now if you see the front view, then it is projected on this vertical plane that is denoted by A dash. If you see from the top side, then you will get the top view that is denoted by A on the horizontal plane. Now once again you know that this horizontal plane is rotated 90 degree clockwise direction always. So A point will move over here. So this is actually the projection of the point A. So with the help of this, you can start the reference line XY for the projection of line. Here you can see this is 9 mm. So this distance is also 9 mm. So I can say this is the locus of A. Here also you can see this is the locus of A dash that is 11 mm above XY line. So I can mention this is the locus of A dash. Now take any one reference vertical line on which you can locate the A dash and A. So up to here we have located the position of the point A. That means we can say it is the position of the point A. Now here it is given to you theta is equal to 20 degree. So once again you know that theta that means a true inclination. And that is in the form of elevation. So here you can see a dash b1 dash that is having 20 degree. So with the help of the set square, you can take the 20 degree angle. Here the angle is mentioned in the description. So you should mention over here, this is the theta that is exactly equal to 20 degree. Now true length is also given to you 75 mm. So you can look at the b1 dash over here with the help of this scale. That is exactly 75 mm away from this a dash. So now you can say this is the locus of B dash. Similarly, you can follow this true inclination phi. That is actually the true length in the form of plan. So I can say this is AB2. That is 30 degree. Here you can see. Once again, here the angle is given to you 30 degree so that you should mention it. Now the length is given to you 75 mm. So I can locate B1 or B2 over here. It is exactly 75 mm from this A point. So keep in mind that true length is always with the subscript. 
you can use any subscript over here so now you can say this is the locus of b now you have to draw the plan length and elevation length and you have true length so very simple from the true length you have to draw the projection and then r so that you will get front view and top view so first i am going to draw the projection once again i can start from this true length also or from this true length also so i am going to draw the projection from this true length here once again up to where i have to draw the projection so once again here it is written if it is elevation then you should go up to the plan if it is planned then you should go up to the elevation once again you have to change the name also here you can see b to a or a to b vice versa so here it is b so i should go up to a dash so here it is a dash to draw the projection up to a dash then you can draw the arc so with the help of the compass you can draw the arc which will cut over here and this is actually the locus of b dash so now i can fix the position of the b dash then join a dash b dash so this is actually your one of the answer el and that is also known as front view similarly you can follow from this true length first through the projection and then r so that you will get the location of the b point or else you can draw the vertical line from this b dash so that you will get b point over here because of you know that any projection of point that is always on the vertical line so once you got this b dash then b must be on the same vertical line so that you can save the time in the examination so this is the location of the b point now you can join ab so this is actually your another answer plan length and that is also known as top view so now i can fill this box alpha that is actually the angle of front view with the horizontal line so measure it with the help of the side square here you can see this is 24 degree so i can write over here 24 next beta that is actually the angle of the top view with horizontal line so here you can see this is 32 degree so right here 32 degree next measure the length of ab that is known as plan length so with the help of the scale you can measure it and here you can see this is 70 mm so write down over here next measure the length of a dash b dash that is known as elevation length so measure it that is 65 mm so write down over here so once again keep in mind that this is the extra information for this problem if it is asked in the examination then you can find with the reference of this problem so draw the same problem in the sketchbook with the instrument and write your answer of plan length and elevation length in the comment box thanks my dear friends for watching this video press the like button to appreciate it